Thank you very much. Uh, well, uh, together with the, um, the entire Commission, uh, but also uh, discussing with the Council, uh, we uh, thought that it was a good idea to build on this positive experience that Irki just uh, um, described so well, uh, to uh, try to move to an innovative uh, policy, also when it comes to investments uh, we uh, try pr to promote uh, in the world. Uh, if we see around uh, us, around Europe, both in Africa, which is our direct neighbour, uh, but also in uh, our region, uh, we see actually huge potential uh, when it comes to human and natural resources, um, with a demographic trend uh, that is uh, uh, exactly the contrary of the one we have in Europe. Uh, but in most of these uh, situations, uh, this huge potential is held back uh, either by um, difficulties linked to the lack of infrastructures, uh, serious governance challenges, corruption, uh, and obviously uh, huge um, areas of uh, poverty, uh, and uh, in some cases conflicts and war. Uh, what uh, we are doing already is uh, focusing very much on uh, development uh, aid, in some cases humanitarian support, Everywhere in these areas, in Africa and in our neighborhood, we are already the first um, donor and the first trade partner. But whenever we discuss with our partners, especially in Africa and in the Mediterranean, what they ask us, what they need, uh, especially for their young people, is investments. And uh, uh, this is needed uh, uh, not only to fight poverty, but also to work effectively on uh, uh, trends uh, that see uh, the young people in these countries more and more attracted by radicalization and terrorism. And also, this is also key to manage uh, in a sustainable way in the long term uh, migratory flows. And obviously, we're talking about countries where for private businesses, uh, for private uh, sector in Europe, it's difficult to invest. Uh, due to, um, again, uh, infrastructural problems uh, or um, security issues, or in any case, a very high risk uh, that uh, businesses and firms uh, would have to face uh, if deciding to invest in especially fragile countries. So we needed uh, uh, innovative solutions, and uh, today we can announce we found them. Uh, last year, uh, we um, had uh, this innovative approach when it comes to investments and growth inside the European Union. To me, this was clearly uh, signaling uh, a shift uh, of the uh, Union's approach, uh, focusing on growth in Europe, somehow investing in investments. And this is also the way we are now uh, choosing for um, the external action we are taking. So during the summer, uh, we um, have established a, a project team together with Irki and Kristalina and with many other uh, commissioners that I've had the honor uh, to lead, uh, to deliver in a very um, quick uh, time, actually, and I would like to thank them for making this possible um, with this uh, plan. Uh, that we're launching today, uh, the uh, external investment plan of the European Union. Uh, this will help us tackle uh, the issues of growth and uh, development, not only uh, in our partner countries, especially in Africa and our neighborhood, but this will also create new opportunities for European firms. So uh, somehow we will have a win-win situation mobilizing uh, our uh, public resources uh, that we know very well are never sufficient alone to fight poverty uh, in the world, uh, to uh, mobilize private investors uh, and international institutions uh, with the aim of promoting uh, businesses, creating jobs through uh, productive investments and better access to finance, especially for small and medium enterprises. Basically, uh, finding a way to call the private sector on board and try to uh, face together opportunities that can be beneficial, again, for the European economy, for the economies of our partners, especially in Africa, uh, and uh, uh, also will fit into our overall uh, foreign and security policy objectives, especially when it comes to security, but also to management of migration. Uh, obviously, for a business uh, to uh, expand or to decide to go and invest in a country, especially fragile one, uh, needs to be accompanied. Uh, and this is what the European Union uh, is uh, uh, ready and capable uh, of doing. First of all, working on the business environment of these countries, 
Uh, and again, uh, our focus will be in particular uh, on attracting investments in fragile uh, situations. So the external investment plan I'm presenting today uh, is uh, uh, leveraging uh, around 44 billion euros in investments in Africa and in our neighborhood. Uh, and if uh, the member states will uh, match uh, this sum, we can double it uh, to 88 billion. I uh, will uh, uh, follow Irki in leaving to Kristalina uh, the difficult task to go more in the details of the uh, money things. It's your business and you're doing it wonderfully well. Uh, because again, I would like to thank her very much. She made uh, uh, this possible, uh, finding the right resources. Uh, and with Irki, we've uh, basically started uh, to study how the internal investment plan has worked to uh, develop uh, the external one. That will be different, obviously, because we have not only investment objectives, but also poverty reduction uh, objectives. So uh, it will be targeted to uh, particular um, key uh, areas of interest for, uh, for us, especially uh, as we uh, have committed to implement the Sustainable Development Goals of the United Nations. This will be a powerful tool to do so. Uh, the amount of money I've mentioned uh, the 44 billion euros and potentially doubling to 88 billion euros is more than the European Union is investing currently uh, on development aid mm. worldwide, and yeah. we are the first donor worldwide. So we're talking about an amount of money that is immense, and that can make a real difference uh, in the countries where we are um, going to focus. Um, in brief, uh, we will have uh, into play very innovative uh, tools First of all, the European, uh, European Fund for Sustainable Development will guarantee private investors against the risk they face when they start a business in developing countries. The new guarantee will uh, not only promote single projects, but uh, also larger investment windows in strategic regions or in strategic sectors. Obviously, we're looking uh, at projects that uh, uh, will create uh, uh, jobs, so it's uh, investments in specific sectors and also in specific regions. Second, uh, there will be a one-stop shop that will allow private investors and institutional actors from both Europe and our partner countries to channel their proposals and also to gather information on the incentives and on the investment windows. Third, the external investment plan will provide technical assistance on the quality and the sustainability of the projects, so it will accompany them. Fourth, the European Commission, together with uh, uh, our strategic partner for investment, the European Investment Bank, but also with other international financial institutions, and also with the advice of private operator operators um, that are specialized on this, we will work uh, together to deliver business-oriented screening of projects. We, risk to, uh, we, we need to do this uh, risk assessment very seriously, and we, need, we know that, and so this will be um, obviously a priority for us. Finally, uh, and this is very important, uh, it's where the added value of the European Union comes on top of the uh, huge amount of money that we can mobilize, the plan will be accompanied on the ground. Uh, we have EU delegations all over the world. Our EU delegations on the ground uh, will accompany uh, these investments on the ground, because we know well that investors, especially in difficult countries, are uh, often concerned not only with the financial risk, but with the legal framework they operate in, the technical uncertainties of the local context, the corruption, uh, the uh, overall political environment they operate in, not to mention the security one. And so we will, through our uh, delegations, accompany uh, them, accompany the investments also by policy dialogues with our interlocutors on the ground, and also with capacity building activities out of which our partner countries uh, can improve their business uh, environment uh, even more. So the key word here is partnership. Uh, this is the basic concept around which we've built uh, this whole idea with the private sector on one side, uh, with our partners in Africa and in the neighborhood on the other side, and uh, with a special focus on the uh, younger generations, because we have seen all the demographic trends, and we would like also to uh, work uh, on a special focus on youth uh, at the next uh, EU-Africa summit in 2017. So it's a real investment uh, in young generations, uh, where they are, and in this way, we also invest in our economic growth. 
in more possibilities and opportunities for our businesses, so potentially in our own youth, uh, and uh, also uh, in uh, uh, making our environment, uh, not uh, the physical environment, but the geostrategic environment we are living in, uh, more sustainable, more stable, more peaceful. Uh, so if uh, I can use an expression that we use a lot in Italian, but I'm not sure it's proper English, it's somehow a Copernican revolution in the way in which we approach uh, not only development, uh, but also investments. Thank you. Thank you very much, Vice President Georgieva.